Well, this is the final situation. But as the ball came in, there were defenders stumbling all over the place. Dan Bennett went to ground. You're quite right. Juma Jantan as well. And there's a chance at the other end. Well, pretty good at a uh, long distance. Well, Mustafic, of course, a penalty expert. He's the first one to take penalties for the national team. Steps aside. Everyone's on the edge of the penalty area, so there is some space behind. Normally, we see right-footed players playing shots in that curl towards the goal, and the attackers try to get across the line of the ball here. Alex Durich is lined up for that, as is Harris Harun on the far post. And that's the way it's going, it's the goal! Alex Durich deflects it in, the score, 1-1! Having to work that little bit harder. Now this really is a good position for a free kick. You would expect a right-footed player to go to the right-hand side of the goalkeeper as we look at it. So often goalkeepers take a step to their right just at the last minute. And that means they are a little bit vulnerable to their left-hand side, the right-hand side as we look at it. I think if it's going to be Chuli, he's probably just going to blast it straight through the wall. If it's Chuli. Chuli, one of the players there, but it, and it is Chuli. And he goes for the near post, and he's chipped it in. Chu Lee gets 2-1 to Singapore. The thumb goes in the mouth. The badge is kissed. And what a turnaround of events. Well, he didn't blast the ball as I thought he would. He simply curled it. And you have 6,000 screaming fans at the Jalan Basar Stadium and probably another 4 million watching at home. And the goalkeeper was rooted to the spot. What an extraordinary turn of events, Shabini Alawi. Well, he's covering, he's taken a step to the left there, and that's left him stranded on the near post, and the ball just curled in at the near post. 2-1 to Singapore, what a turnaround. Singapore, and what an end to a half that started so badly for the home side. Unbelievable, Jamie, unbelievable. Just look at the jubilation and the celebration in the Singapore camp. Two more minutes to half-time. What a great lead. 3-1. And that goal came out of nothing. Almost nothing. Well, Mustafic, into integral in that build-up to the goal and then finishing it off beautifully. Great work from the big man. Did so well initially. Kept his run going. And that vulnerable middle of the defence not picking him up. And it's a super finish, he had plenty of work to do. Good header won by Harris Horan. And the goalkeeper should never be beaten on the near post, we always say. So 3-1 to Singapore after the heartbreak of conceding in the first 30 seconds. But it's not over yet, there's a ball to the far post and... Unbelievable! And it's Chu Lee with his second of the night. I'm speechless. I'm just speechless. And you can see the Malaysian fans, uh, they decided to throw a missile has landed on the pitch. Well, these are extraordinary scenes indeed at the Jalan Basar Stadium. There was something thrown on yeah. the pitch. There's another water bottle coming on. Most of it's fairly harmless, it has to be said. And Chu Li is applauding to the Malaysian fans, which isn't a good idea. But Chu Li, what a half he's had. And Alex Durich outside of the foot, right across the goal. Chu Li, difficult ball, keeps it under control. And it's 4-1 to Singapore. I think the Malaysian coach Raja Gopal must be stumped. And dumbfounded by a team that he actually said was, was, uh, was experienced. And once again... Malaysia play their way back into contention. It's Abdul Hadi. The substitute, we knew this was coming. Abdul Hadi, the substitute has come on and pulled another one back for the Tigers. Well, again, it's a mix-up in the centre of the defence. The central defenders pointing the finger at Iswan Maboud as well, saying that maybe he should have come for that. Let's see it as it goes in. Well, both central defenders have gone to the same man. 
Dan Bennett was already there and Safwan Baroudi drawn out of position. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Safi Sally gets his second of the night and we're now back to 4-3. Well, if Singapore could score two within a couple of minutes in the first half, I don't see why Malaysia could not uh, replicate the same form. Well, Safi Sally given far too much room there. It took a nice deflection as far as he's concerned. But in the space of just a moment, Singapore go from cruising up 4-1 to the good to being 4-3 up and looking at their opponents having scored three away goals and suddenly, the pendulum swings in favour of the away team. Where's the marking? It's deflected off Dan Bennett. Deflects off Dan Bennett, off the inside of his leg there, a little bit unfortunate. And I, it's an extraordinary game. I've been working on Singapore football for over 20 years now. Can he hold it up? Great turn! Alex Dulich, a 40 years of age, turns and fires in at the far post. 5 3 to Singapore. And that's the second goal for the 40 year old bionic man of Singapore football. With nine minutes remaining, Alexander Dulich has put the Lions 5 3 ahead. Well, it's the eighth goal of the evening, and when it came, it was simplicity itself. Julie holding the ball. Playing it up to Alex, who just rolled his man and rolled it onto his stronger left foot. Well, it's classic centre forward play. He's so big, so strong, just leaning into his man. Look at him there, and he just rolls him, just gets that yard, and he always goes across goal. That's right, just one mistake. One mistake by the defender, and he got turned in the wrong direction. That was it. That was all he needed. No chance for the goalkeeper, Shabini. In fact,